Well, good evening, everyone. So we're going to begin in a few minutes. So if you need your block, just make sure you have your block handy. Any other props that you might have that you think you will need, bring them by your side as well. And then we'll begin in a seated position. So we're going to begin in easy pose with our legs crossed. So just come to the very top of the shorter end of your mat and just maybe give yourself a little bit of room so that when you move forward your hands will come into the very top onto the very top of the mat instead of the floor. So just wiggle yourself back a little bit more with your legs crossed, whatever leg feels comfortable in front. And just bring your hands onto your knees. And so starting here in easy pose, close your eyes and draw your navel into the back of the spine. Now let your tailbone feel as if it's tucking under to establish a nice straight spine. And just close your eyes as you rest your palms to your knees, soften your elbows to the sides of your body. Let your eyes stay closed as you just begin to find your nice, smooth, even breath. So allowing the ujjayi breath, you're going to hear the breath, you're going to allow that ujjayi breath to flow through the back of your throat and just feeling its rhythm, feeling its subtle energy moving through the back of your throat with your inhalation and exhalation. And as you feel the breath, you want to actually be able to audibly hear your breath So establish that breath now, just taking time to feel connected to your mat. And so it's important that we always begin our practice with the intention, setting an intention, or knowing that we're here in this space now, so our practice is going to begin. And the first yoga sutra uh, is uh, Atta Yoga Nushasanam, so which means that we are here now, ready to begin our practice. And just feel with each exhale that you're clearing away anything that you might have brought with you to your mat. Anything from your day, anything that may have upset you, let that go. We don't want to hold on to those feelings of being upset or angry or afraid. We want to let the negative energy flow out of the body and just feel that you're creating space as you inhale and exhale. And let your eyes remain closed and just let the shoulders shrug up to the ears, pulling them all the way up. Inhale and then slowly pull them down as you exhale and raise the shoulders up to the ears inhale and slowly pull them down as you exhale feeling that you're getting a little more space from your shoulders and your ears last time lift the shoulders up inhale exhale and slowly pull them down and now we're going to roll the shoulders so we're going to start by squeezing the shoulder blades together let the shoulders move back and then raise them up to your ears roll them forward and down so your arms will move as a result of your shoulders moving. You don't want to rock your body. Just move to open up your shoulders. Inhaling as the shoulders come up. Exhaling as they roll forward and down. And one last time, draw the shoulders back. Lift them up and rolling them forward and down. And hands remain on your knees. Let your eyes slowly open. Let's bring both hands into prayer. Raise both arms all the way up to the ceiling. Stretch up as high as you can. Exhale, release the arms down. And stretch the arms up again. Lifting up as high as you can. Inhale. Exhale and bring it down. Last one. Lift it up. Inhale. And as you exhale, keep your arms alongside your ears. Just hinge from your hips. Just go as far as you can. And then bring your hands to the front of your mat. 
without shrugging your shoulders, without dropping your head, and without rounding your spine. Keep drawing your navel into the back of the spine. Pull the shoulders away from the ear. Squeeze your shoulder blades. And just lean as far as your body allows you to go in that nice straight plane. So you want to keep the spine long. Nice deep inhale. And exhale, just sink down a little further, maintaining that straight spine. And nice deep inhale. Exhale, go down a little further. Let's close our eyes for a few breaths here. And just feel the sits bones pressing down. Feel the shoulders pulling back. Notice where you're feeling the stretch through your body. Try not to force your chest further down than it should go, and making sure that you're not rounding the back. And then just lift up onto your fingertips, and then just walk your fingertips to the right side. As you come over, let that back stay long, and just lean your chest towards your right side. So keep your arms a little wider than your shoulders and stay with your fingers clawed to the floor towards your mat and just bring your whole body in a straight plane towards that right leg, dropping the left buttock down to feel the stretch into the left side of your body. And then lift back up and walk those fingers, stay on the tips of the fingers all the way over to the left side and then just sink down, no rounding through the back. Don't worry about how far you go. You wanna feel that right buttock pushing down Stretching in through the right side of your body, long spine, crown stays in alignment with your tailbone, so try not to drop the head. Pushing that right buttock down and come back up, keeping the tips of the fingers on the floor, and then come forward once again, and then just come flat on your palms and hinge forward. Maybe you can take it a little further. Maybe you can actually come down to your forearms and pull that belly in, pull the shoulders back. Feel a stretch opening in through your lower back. Nice deep inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, lift yourself back up. Now we're going to uncross the legs. Take both feet flat on the floor, and you're going to bring your legs together. We're just going to find a little bit of a balance, so we're going to pull the feet in a little close towards the buttocks. And then just raise your heels off the floor, your feet off the floor. Extend your arms forward and relax your shoulders. So we're using our abdominal muscles here. You want to really squeeze your belly and pull it into the back of the spine. Allow the sides to stay together, knees together, and keep reaching the fingers. So just taking a little bit of a balance. We're not going to go too far into it by raising the legs. We just want to feel that balance. Cross your legs here. Both hands come down to the mat, right onto the very top of your mat. If you're able to, just roll forward onto your knees, taking it right into tabletop position. Palms are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. We're going to send the right leg all the way back. As your right leg goes back, you want to draw the hip down, point the toes on your right foot, pull your shoulders back, squeeze your belly into the back of the spine. And then we're going to round the back as we try to touch our nose to our knees. So you're going to round, drop your chin into the chest, and then reach the leg and lift up, look up. And then once again, round, pull the knee in towards the nose, and take it all the way back. And up, head looks up left. And bring it in. And lift it all the way up. And then lower that right knee back down under your hips taking the left leg back. So square the shoulders over your palms, left leg extends, draw the hip down, toes point. Rounding the back, you're going to draw the chin in, try to touch your knee to your nose, and lift the leg up, looking up. And slowly bring it in again, pull the belly in, and lift up, head up last. Last time, pull it in, and lift that leg all the way up, and lower the knee back down. From here, right leg is going to come back again, and we're going to curl the toes on the left foot. And when you do, you're going to lift your left knee off the mat and send the right leg up for a three-legged dog. Stretch that leg up as high as you can, and then come lowering that left knee back down onto the mat. Keep the leg lifted. Toes are curled. Lift up again. Stretch that leg a little higher. Drop your head, and slowly come back. If this is too intense, you can keep the right leg down, or the right leg uh, foot on the floor if you need to, and reach back, and lower down. So once that knee comes down, release your right knee under the hip, flatten both toes, and we're going to take the left leg, extend it back, 
Pull your shoulders back, curl your right toes under, sending that left leg back, straighten the leg, press through that right heel, and come forward again, let that right knee come down, keep the left leg lifted, and lift it up. And try to just let the knee hover, if you need to place it down, you can bring it down, lift it up last time, and let that knee come down to the floor, and allow the left knee to come down, We'll take our first rest, big toes touch, taking a child's pose, sit your tailbone down to your heels, reach and extend your arms forward, draw your forehead to the floor, to your mat, and keep your arms extended. Really try and push the heels of your hands into the mat to send your hips as far back as you can. Forehead should be on the floor, and if you're not able to get it on the floor, you can use a block if you have your block. And you want to just push back through your hips and breathe here. Nice deep inhale and exhale, staying with your Ujjayi breath. And from here, coming back up onto all fours. Palms are flat, keeping your hands right at the top of your mat. Bring your knees under your hips and lift up through your down dog. Taking the right leg all the way up. I'm going to keep that leg, leg lifted as you press your left heel to the floor. Peel open the right hip, bend the right knee to the ceiling to open up that whole right side of your body. Square the shoulders down to the floor so you don't want to turn that right shoulder way up. You want to pull it back so that it stays even with the left. Let your right heel come towards your left buttock and then start to circle that right knee in towards the inner left side. Circling one direction, really open up the hip, keep your right knee bent, circle it the opposite way, really stretch it out, and then let that right leg come back down alongside your left, back into your down dog, and let's take our left leg all the way up, stretch it up, bend your left leg at the knee, and try not to turn that left shoulder open. So you want to pull the shoulder down, let that left heel come towards your right buttock. Press through that right heel, circle the left knee in towards the thigh, taking it as wide as you can. Doesn't matter what direction because we'll do the other side. And then circle it around the other way. Keep pushing back into your three-legged dog. And then lower the left foot down to the mat. And from here we're going to walk the hands to the back of the mat. So as you come all the way back, your feet are going to flatten to the floor. Both legs are going to bend, and you're going to hang in ragdoll. So place the pinky fingers into the creases of your opposite elbows and soften the bend in your legs. So your knees are bent, hip legs are hip distance apart. Just shake your head yes. Shake your head no. And just collapse those arms down. Holding here, stretching out the lower back. And remember, as you move through your practice, any time that you need to rest, take child's pose. Don't feel that you have to keep moving just because I'm asking you to do that. Listen to your own body. From here, I'm going to keep the arms hanging. The chin is going to come into the chest. Put a little bit deeper bend in your knees. Start to tuck your tail under. Really squeeze your belly into the back of the spine. So as you roll up, your lower back is being supported. Keep your head hanging until you come all the way up. And once you stack each vertebra one on top of the other, the crown of your head comes up towards the ceiling. And then let's bring both big toes together. So at the back of the mat, reaching both arms all the way up, inhale. Interlace your fingers, make steeple fingers, and stretch the tips of those index fingers as high up to the ceiling as you can. Pull your belly into the spine, take a stretch over to the right side. And come back through center taking a stretch over to the left side, and back to center, and once again all the way to the right, and through center, and all the way to the left. And taking it back through center, swan dive down, long spine, walk your hands forward so that you're ending up back in your down dog, palms are flat, fingers spread wide, let that head hang. Breathe here, lifting the hips way up, press through your heel. You're going to lower the knees down to the mat. So we're going to work a little bit on 
the postures that are incorporated in a sun salutation. So you make sure that your palms are flat, fingers are spread wide, your knees are directly underneath your hips. Now let your toes curl, and as your toes curl, tilt your pelvis, tilt your tailbone, so you're tilting up, so there's an arch in your back. Pull your elbows in towards each other, so towards the chest, and then shift your weight slightly forward. Hug those elbows in, lower your chest right in between the hands, and your chin comes down, your tailbone stays lifted. So your elbows are up to the ceiling like chicken, chicken arms. Now let your legs go straight as your belly goes flat. And just, just using your back muscles, let your toenails press down into the floor. Just lift your chest and your head comes up. Try not to let your hands push you up. So use your back. And then lower the forehead down to the floor. And again, push it, bringing yourself up. So you're lifting yourself up, not really pushing into your hands. So if you lifted your hands off the floor, you'll feel that your back is doing the work. So let your forehead come down. And right from here, we're going to keep those elbows squeezing in towards each other. As you come up, you're going to turn and look over your right shoulder with a little twist, and then come back down to center, and then push up and take a little twist over to the left side, and then come back down. This time right through center like we did at the beginning without using your hands to push you up, and lower down. And lift again, opening to the right side, and bring it down, opening up to the left side, and bring it down, and again through center, and bring it down. Right from here, the hands are right, right next to your chest. You're going to press into the hands, pushing up into tabletop position, and then right into down dog. So we opened up the back here. We're going to come back into that uh, pose again, because that's part of our sun salutation. So you're going to bring your knees back down onto the mat, making sure your palms are under the shoulders, knees are under your hips. Keeping those toes curled, tilt your tail up, shift your chest forward. Now your elbows pull in, so when you're coming down, your chest comes right in between your hands, your chin comes down. Elbows are up to the ceiling, belly and hips are off the floor. Let your legs slide back, toes go flat, push into your toenails and lift up without using your hands to lift you. And then press it back up into down dog. From here, lift your right leg up to the ceiling. You want to stretch it up as high as you can. Look to the front of your mat, round your back, pull that knee in, and step it forward. If you need to wiggle it in or bring it right under your chest, you might not be able to get that foot right in between the hands right away. So. Bring the foot in however you can get it there. You're in a lunge position. Allow that right knee to stay over the ankle. We're just going to straighten the right leg, and then you're going to move forward and straighten the right leg, and then bend moving forward. And again, pull it back and bend. This time, both hands are going to stay flat. You're going to bring that right leg back to your three leg to down dog. And left leg is going to come all the way up. And we're going to let that left knee come into the chest. Step that foot right in between the hands or wiggle it in however you can get it there. Make sure your left knee is over the ankle, pressing back through your right heel. Start to straighten that left leg. So you're going to pull your left hip back, pressing that right heel to the floor and leaning forward and press it back. Left hip moves away from the thigh and coming forward and back and coming forward. This time as you take it back, the left leg is going to lift back to your down dog. We're taking your right leg up, we're going to lift it up and this time as we come into this lunge, we're going to lower the right uh, left knee down to the mat. You're going to sweep your arms back behind you Lift your chest off the floor, inhale. You want to really feel that you're stacking your hips over that left knee, and then you're just pressing forward. 
Stretch up, reach and breathe. Deep breath in. And so we'll let those fingers stretch up to the ceiling. Pull your shoulders down away from the ears. Gaze up towards where the wall and the ceiling meet. Both hands come down. Right leg is going to lift. So you're going to curl the back toes, lift the left knee, and take your right leg back. Left leg is going to lift and lunge that left foot in between the hands. So you want to pull it in, step that foot in between the hands, making sure the knee is over the ankle. Allow the right knee to lower. Toes go flat on your right foot, and we're arms sweep it back. Lift up so your right hip comes over the knee, but then you want to move the hips forward, tuck your tail under, and let those arms extend. Gaze up towards where the wall and the ceiling meet. And breathe. Both hands are going to come down on either side of your left foot. The right toes are going to curl, the knee lifts, and the left leg goes back. Down dog. So right from here, I'm going to take those knees, chest, chin, but you want to shift your weight forward to plank. Whenever we take our plank position, the shoulders are over the palms, the heels are pushing back, the tailbone is long, and you're not lifting your butt up, and you're not collapsing through your back. Lower the knees to the floor, toes go flat, bend the both elbows in, let the chest and chin come down. Let your belly and hips slide onto the floor, lifting your chest, use your back, and push it up back into down dog. Step the right, lift the right leg up, and step that right leg to the front of your mat. Bring your left foot to follow. Let the arms come out to the side and T-hinge from your hips, and come all the way up, bring your hands together, lower the hands to the center of your heart. And just take your chin down to the chest. Take a moment. Notice the energy, the heat beginning to build up through your body. Accept it. It's part of the practice. Be able to manage what you're experiencing. If you feel overwhelmed with the way that you're feeling this energy, take your child's pose. So we're just giving ourselves a little bit of a rest at the top of the mat just to really establish our breath, get back to the flow of our breath, make sure it feels smooth and even. And just stay here, close your eyes if you're able to. If not, just gaze downward if you're looking into your heart. Listen to your breath. Make that breath long and fluid. And slowly bring your chin level with the mat. Eyes are gazing forward. So we're going to now integrate the whole uh, round of our sun salutation. Starting by bending, bowing your head, draw the chin to chest, raise the arms up, lift, inhale, palms come together, and take a slight arch back. Swan dive down, exhale, open through the chest. Slide your hands up the shins, lengthen your spine, inhale and fold. With your exhale, plant the hands to the floor. Step one leg back and the other leg back. Shoulders are over your palms. You come right into your plank and then your knees come to the mat. Tailbone tilts up. Bring your chest down, chin down. Flatten your toes and then let the chest lift without using your hands. Squeeze your elbows together and press it back up to your down dog. Deep breath here. Nice deep inhale and exhale. And let's hold it here, two more breaths. I'm going to look forward and step or walk. Jump the feet in between your hands. Lengthen your spine, inhale and fold with your exhale. Lengthen arms out in T, hinge from your hips, come all the way up, palms come together, gaze up. Slide arch back and return the thumbs back to the center of your heart. Take a moment, chin to chest. So as your energy builds and you feel the heat, really stay in control. Maybe really feel that you have to go deeper into your breath to get that control that you need. So we're going to do another sun salutation. We're going to integrate the lunge position, and we're only going to see if we can work with just one breath with the lunge position. 
So don't worry, I'll talk you through it. Just stay here for a few breaths. And remember just to do the best you can. And slowly let your eyes open, chin level with the mat. Bow your head, inhale, stretch the arms out to the side, lift up, palms together, look up. Slide arch back, swan dive down, exhale as you open the chest. Inhale, lengthen, <clears throat> exhale, plant the hands, one leg back, other leg back. I'm going to bring the knees down to the mat. Chest and chin come down, hug your elbows in. Lift your chest, toes go flat, use your back. Come all the way back up into your down dog, and right away, raise your right leg up to the ceiling. Lunge the right foot in between the hands. Step it in. Get it there right away. Option to keep the left knee down, or you can uh, left, left knee down, or you can keep it lifted. Take it up. Inhale. I'm going to take it right back and down with the exhale. Taking that right leg back to down dog. And look forward, walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, fold. Arms out in T, come all the way up. Reaching up, palms together, look up. Slight arch back, hands return to prayer. And we're going to go right to the left side. Bow the head, chin in, lift the arms up. Palms together, look up, slight arch back, swan dive it down, exhale. Lengthen, inhale, stepping the legs back. So you want to find plank, that high push-up. Keep those shoulders over your palms, then take your knees to the mat. Chest and chin come down, tailbone lifted. Slide your chest forward, belly flat, toes flat. Lift that chest without using your hands. And come all the way back, down dog. Left leg is going to lift, so opposite leg this time. And bring it right in between the hands. Option to take the knee down or keep the knee lifted. Sweep it up. Inhale. And exhale, both hands come down on either side of the left foot. Left leg goes back. And we're going to come forward. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Lengthen, arms out in T. Hinge from your hips, come up. Palms together, slight arch back as you look up. Return your hands back to the center of your heart and hold. Let it all go. So feeling your body, accepting the practice. Anytime you need to rest, take child's pose. Really let that breath flow in. Feel a sense that your breath is a calming factor that you can feel that there might be a lot of chaos going on internally, but your breath can calm things down. So from here, bring your chin level with the floor. Allow your gaze to face forward. Both arms lift, inhale, and we're taking a forward fold as you exhale. This time the left leg is gonna go back. Option to keep that knee lifted, and once you do, you can, or you can bring it down. You're going to come back up into that high lunge or that low lunge with the left knee down, raising both arms up. And we're going to twist to the right. So squeeze your inner thighs. Let your left arm go forward. Bring your right arm behind you. Squeeze those inner thighs. Sink your pelvis down. Push back through your left heel. Really require your abdominal muscles to help you in this pose. Bring your right hand towards your left. Take both arms back up, and we're going to flatten the left foot right into a warrior two. So you're going to spin your left foot flat. Right knee stays over the ankle and bent. Look down the fingers of your right hand. And breathe here. Relax your shoulders. Nice deep breath. And one more inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, raise both arms all the way up. Straighten that right leg. Exhale, bend your right leg. And take both hands on either side of your right foot. Take your right leg and bring it back to a plank position. So taking some of the movements in our sun salutation, take your knees back down to the mat. Chest comes down, chin comes down. Elbows hug in towards each other. Let your belly go flat, toes go flat. 
Then lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Push it back to your down dog. And breathe here. And from here, we're going to take it two more breaths. And then we're going to bring the feet forward and go to the other side. Last breath. Inhale. Then exhale. Look forward. Walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat. Lengthen. Inhale. Exhale and fold. This time, let's step the right leg back. So your right leg is going back. Your heel is pushing back towards the, um, the back of your mat. Left knee over the ankle. Option to bring your right knee down if you can't keep the left knee lifted. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Pull your belly into the back of the spine. Find your balance here. Raise your arms all the way up. Press both hips forward. Take that bend as deep as you can. Find your balance. Really require your body to really stay focused. And then take the right arm forward, left arm back for your twist. Breathe here. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Find the balance. And then allowing the left arm to come forward, both arms lift once again, taking it right into warrior two. So left knee stays over the ankle. Spin the right foot flat. Open the arms out. So your heel is in alignment with the instep of your right foot. Your left heel lines up with the right in, instep. Gaze down the fingers of your left hand. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Continue to gaze down those left fingertips. Make sure that you're feeling you're present in this, on your mat, in your pose. And then straighten the leg. Both arms lift. Inhale. Exhale, bend the leg, and windmill the hands on either side of your left foot. Take it back to your down dog. Left leg goes back, and then come forward to your plank. Shoulders over your palms. Squeeze your belly in. Bring your knees to the floor. Chest and chin down. Hug those elbows in. Lift the chest. Inhale. Try not to use your uh, hands, and then take it back into your down dog. Exhale. And we're going to hold it here. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Really feel that you can hear that breath traveling through the back of the throat. That's where you really want to direct your breath. Inhale and exhale. And one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Look forward. Walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Lengthen, inhale, and fold, exhale. We're going to hold or forward fold. We're going to take the first two fingers and wrap them around the big toe, tucking your thumb under. You want to pull your chest away from your thighs, pull your belly in, pull your shoulders back as you inhale. And then on your exhale, pull into your toes to pull your chest closer to your thighs and drop the crown of your head towards your toes. If your elbows are bending, let them splay out to the side. So feel as you deepen into that back leg stretch. The hamstrings are stretching. The tailbone is lifting. You want to try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Keep pulling in. So even if they're slightly bent, keep thinking of lifting your hips only to where you can feel that intense stretch. Never feel that you have to force it or you have to completely straighten the legs all the time. So we do have modifications. Lengthen, inhale, pull in one last time, exhale, and inhale, lengthen, take the, release the toes, take the arms out in T, come all the way up, lift up, bring your hands to prayer, and slowly bring the hands back down to the center of your heart with your chin to the chest. And keep breathing. Make sure that you feel your breath controlling the way that you're accepting that energy, where you're receiving that energy. So let it match where you can feel in control. And then bring your chin level with the mat. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Step one leg back and the other leg back, taking it right into our plank. Press back through your heel. Shoulders over your palms. If you need to, you can lower your knees down. I'm going to hold it here for a few breaths. 
just to get that body, upper body strength. Keep your belly squeezing into the back of the spine. Continue to tuck your tail under. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Fingers are spread wide. Crown of the head faces forward. Shoulders pull back. And then lower to the knees. And let's cross the legs behind us. I'm going to sit back into easy pose, the pose that we were in at the very beginning of the practice. So you might want to just scoot right to the middle of your mat. Bring your hands right back onto your knees once again. So at the very beginning of the practice, we did a boat pose. So we're going to work on that a little bit more just to get that abdom the abdominals to get a little bit of work to strengthen them. Just close your eyes for a few moments now, so nothing that you need to do now, just close your eyes. Let all the negative energy that may feel you may feel that you're holding on to, let it release with the exhale. Listen to your own breath. And slowly let your eyes open. So we're going to bring the feet flat onto the floor once again. Get those knees and thighs to squeeze together. Imagine that you have a piece of paper in between your knees and you don't want it to fall out when you lift your leg. So if you really feel that you need to support yourself, you can keep your hands underneath your thighs. Otherwise, just extend your arms forward. And you're going to just let those heels lift, pulling them in, and reach and extend. Keep those knees together. And now as you come up, you can start to... Uh, as you hold, you can start to raise the calves so they come parallel to the mat. Reach and extend the fingers. Pull your belly in. Really feel that your abdominal muscles are doing the work. Stretch through the fingers. Keep those elbow, uh, knees together. Remember that you're gluing those knees together so you don't want that piece of paper to separate from the uh, knees. Hold here. And then both legs cross, both hands come onto your knees, and let's start to slowly circle the body around. Make nice wide circles, and slowly take it around, go the opposite direction. So we're going to go back to that boat pose again. So this is also a balance while we're working on our abdominals. So Feet are together, thighs are together, knees are together. If you held back behind your thighs, please, maybe you can allow the arms to extend this time. Lift the heels, and if you're able to, let the calves come parallel. If you feel that you can and want to, just let your legs go straight, but your back doesn't change. You can let those toes stretch to the, point the toes towards the front of the mat. And you want to extend your arms forward. Squeeze your belly into the spine. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Cross the legs. Bring your hands forward. However, you can come back onto all fours and tabletop. Come back to all fours. So we're going to work a little bit more on another balancing pose. This will be on our hands and knees. If you have a uh, side plank in your practice, you can do that. Otherwise, you can do a modified version. So we're going to first start on the with the, um, the left leg. So you're going to just keep your left shoulder over your left palm. Keep your left knee underneath your hip. If you're not taking the full side plank, your left knee will be staying down. If you are taking the side plank, the knee comes off and you're rolling onto the edge of your left foot. And then your right foot would come right on top. So if you're taking the modified version, the left knee stays down. The right foot will just come behind the toes of the left foot. Then you're going to turn your chest open and start to reach and extend the right arm up to the ceiling. Look up towards your right thumb. So this may be a challenge just for you to find balance of staying on that left knee. But if you are feeling strong and balanced, you're on the edge of your left foot with your right foot on top and your right arm extend. Stretching up. Lift that left hip so you don't want that left hip to collapse down. 
One more breath here. Inhale wherever you are. The right hand comes down. Exhale, both knees to the floor. Take a rest in child's pose. And breathe. So before we take it to the other side, you want to just rest. Listen to your breath. So notice just by doing that balance pose, it might have also increased the heat that you feel through your body and also has increased your heart rate. Come back onto all fours. So I'm just going to turn around so that you'll be able to see me, but we're going to be doing it on the right side this time. So your right palm is right under your right shoulder, right knee under the hip. The left leg can come back with the toes pointing to the instep of your left foot, and then your left arm would extend up. So if this is easier for you, if it's more achievable, then go for it. If you want to, if feeling strong, your right edge of your right foot comes to the mat, and your left foot goes on top, and then your left arm reaches and extends. Make sure that you're not collapsing that right hip down. Look up towards the left finger. And breathe. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back down onto your knees. Once again, back into your child's pose. Take it back. If your wrist feels stiff, especially if you did the full side plank, just rotate your wrist around. If they, anytime your wrists feel tight, just circle them around. Relax here in your child's pose. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Reaching those arms forward, come back onto all fours. And we're going to take the legs out to one side. Sit down onto your buttocks. As you sit down, Extend both legs forward, so move more to the front of the mat. Send both legs forward and just kind of rock it out. Pull the flesh aside from your buttocks so that you really feel your sits bones grounding to the floor. Flex your feet so that your toes are pointing more to your face. And bring your hands right next to your hips. Lift your shoulders up and then pull them back and down. So notice if your elbows bend when you have to pull them down. So you don't want to straighten your arms and hunch the shoulders up to the ears. So bend the elbows if they need to, but pull those shoulders away from the ears. Create space from the ear, ear lobes to the shoulders. And sit up nice and tall, Dandasana. Gaze forward, and without really feeling that you're pushing into your mat with your hands, Try to soften the shoulders, but feel action in your belly. Feel action in your legs because your feet are flexed. You're pressing the backs of the knees to the floor. You're feeling the backs of your legs engaged. And slowly let your eyes open. We're going to slide the right foot in. You're going to pull that heel in towards your left buttock. I'm uh, sorry, your right buttock. And then interlace the fingers. Pull in and pull your chest to your right side. Keep your left foot extended and flexed. We're going to cross the right foot over the left, and tr uh, left leg and try to get that foot to be flat on the floor. Try to lift your hips up. So you want to keep that back nice and long. Keep pulling that shin into your chest and keep the left heel flexed. The left foot flexed and the toes facing towards your face. So now, keeping that back nice and long, take both arms all the way up, inhale, and we're going to take a twist, turning to the right. As you turn to the right, place your left hand on your right knee, pull that knee in towards your chest, and bring your right hand behind you next to your tailbone. So getting the twist, flex through that left foot, continue to press the back of the left knee to the mat, and let your shoulders pull down. Let your belly raise off of that right side. Try to twist more to that right corner of the room. Close your eyes and feel the work in the left leg. Feel the shoulders relaxing. Feel that squeeze through the whole body, the upper body. Close your eyes for two more breaths. And slowly let your eyes open and release out of your pose. 
Take the right leg forward. Back to Dandasana. So let that leg extend. Bring both hands right next to your hips once again. Let the shoulders come up to your ears. Flex those feet and then pull the shoulders back and down. So let your back be nice and straight. You don't want to be pushing into your hands to straighten your back. You want your abdominals to keep your back nice and long. Bend the elbows if you need to. Pull the shoulders down in your dandasana. Back of the knees are pushing to the floor. Belly in. Crown over your tailbone. And then sliding the left foot in, interlace the fingers around the shin, getting that left heel as close to the left buttock as you can. Pull your chest into your left thigh. Flex that right foot. Really engage your abdominal so that you can feel that stretch. And then taking the left foot, cross it over the right thigh, bringing the foot to the floor. Make sure you're still sitting up nice and tall. And then bring both arms all the way up. Inhale. Taking your twist to the left, let your right hand find your left knee. Just pull that left thigh into the chest. Rotate over the left shoulder to the left side. And bring both shoulders down, left hand close to your tailbone, and left shoulder is down. You want to keep the crown of your head right over your tailbone. Continue to flex that right foot, pushing through the back of your right knee. Let that chest lift. Try to rotate the belly away from the left side. And then just holding this twist, close your eyes. And just taking two more breaths. And slowly let the eyes open. Release out of your twist and extend that left leg forward. You're going to scoop both buttocks to your heels and come to lie down onto your back. And as you do, just pull your heels in close to your buttocks. Taking your arms right alongside you, you're going to cross the right ankle over the left thigh, on top of the left thigh, just below the knee. So we're going to work on opening the right hip a little bit here. Allow that left foot to lift off the mat, pushing the thigh into your right ankle. So feel that right uh, thigh, left thigh pressing into the right ankle to really open your right hip. Pushing in. Squeeze your belly into the back of the spine. So try not to arch the lower back. Really draw your navel into the spine. You have an option here. If you want, straighten your left leg with a flexed foot. This will increase the stretch in through the right hip. And if you want, you can even reach up, interlace the fingers around the left calf, draw your head back down, and keep feeling that more intense stretch through the right hip. So take it to where your intensity is deep, where you can manage it and hold it. So challenge yourself. If you reached up for your, at your calf, you want to make sure your head comes back down and your back is straight on the mat with the left foot flexed. Otherwise, just keep the leg lifted or just keep the leg bent. And then release your hands if they're behind your left calf. Let your left foot slowly come back to the floor and release your right foot down. And take a notice how your right hip feels. And we're going to switch sides now. So the right foot remains on the floor with the knee bent, and the left ankle comes right on top of your right thigh, just below your knee. Let your left knee soften open so that you can feel a stretch in the left hip. Now, while you're here, draw your navel into the back of the spine, so you're coming into a pelvic tilt to keep that lower back on the floor. Squeeze your belly into the back of the spine, picking up your right foot off the mat, pushing the thigh into your left ankle, and feel the stretch in that left hip. So first day here, just notice the stretch. So exploring where, how we feel when we're moving in our poses, we want to take them step by step. And then if you feel okay here, and maybe the, straightening the right leg, flexing the right foot, pushing a little bit more with that thigh into your left ankle gives you more of a stretch in the left hip, and straighten that leg. Or just continue to keep it bent. If you have the leg straight and you want to reach up, you can lift your head to interlace behind the calf. You never want to hold behind your knee, so just make sure it's behind your calf, and then bring your head back down. Your back stays straight, so pull the navel into the back of the spine. Pulling that belly in, you're going to feel, as you pull the belly into the spine, you're going to feel your left hip 
getting a little bit more open space here, a little deeper stretch. If that's too intense, you can keep your arms down or your knee bent on the right side. Hold here, just breathe through the stretch. And then you can release your fingers, your hands behind your calf if they're there. Bring both arms down, bend that right leg at the knee and place the foot down to the floor. And then just let your left leg come back and take notice. And then heel toe your feet together so that your soles of the feet open out to the side. Let the knees draw out. Take your hands to the insides of your thighs. So here when we're coming into this pose, there's a natural curve that happens into this pose. So you're stretching in through the groin and through your outer hips. And right from here, we're going to close the legs together, taking happy baby. So let your legs lift up to the ceiling, bring them together. So legs are lifted, legs are together, they're lifted up to the ceiling. Open the legs out to the side, about hip distance apart, and bend your legs at the knees. Keep your feet as if they're flex, uh, as if they're standing on the ceiling. Pull your navel into the back of the spine, then reach up your hands, come wherever they hold. Maybe they only hold your ankles. You don't want to arch the lower back, so push your lower back into the floor. Maybe you can hold to the outside edges if you're flexible enough onto your feet, and then pull your knees into your armpit. So it's like you're in a squat. This is happy baby. So maybe you've seen a baby be in this position before, and when they're happy, they put a smile on their face. So why don't we all smile and rock side to side. So every once in a while, smile when you're doing your poses. Don't get too serious. And after you've rocked, a several, rocked several times back and forth, allowing the rocking to stop, bring your legs back down to the floor, and just stay here. Place your hands onto your belly. One hand on the belly, other hand on top. Close your eyes just for a few breaths. And then just let your arms relax down alongside you. So we're getting ready for relaxation. If you have a blanket with you and you want to put your blanket on, you can do that now. And the legs go and extend straight forward. Allow the legs to stay about hip distance apart. And let your feet just gently flop out to the side. And so feeling that natural arch through the lower back, when we bend the knees, in, we, it's easier to let that lower back stay on the floor. But when the legs are extended, it automatically creates that little arch in the back. So that can be a little uncomfortable sometimes. So if it is, you can always bring some large, <clears throat> like a large blanket underneath your thighs or a bolster underneath your thighs, and that will help you feel a little uh, more comfortable So when your legs are extended. So let your feet plop out to the sides. Turn your palms up to the ceiling. Open the arms out about six or seven inches away from your body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feel your chest expand and then let the shoulders relax down onto the mat. Close your eyes. Taking the time now to integrate the work that you've done. Taking time to rest. Taking this time to just be present here and now. Let go of the Ujjaya breath and find your normal, natural breath. Finding it flow in and flow out. Feel your body as it sinks to the earth. Feel yourself releasing any judgments, any negative energy. Feel yourself letting it go every time that you exhale. And feel that it's a heavy weight that you let go of. 
anything that's of a negative fashion that we're holding in our bodies becomes a heavy weight. And that negative energy can manifest as stress. Sometimes we walk around with our shoulders hunched up to our ears and we don't even realize it until maybe you look at yourself in a mirror and you can see. And then you can just say to yourself, relax your shoulders, and then all of a sudden you feel different. So knowing that we do carry heavy weights with us, our thoughts, our negative thoughts, sometimes even our situations in our lives, those can weigh heavy on us too. Our fears and our anxiety, they can weigh heavy. So right now, this is the time to let go of that heavy weight and to feel that you're relaxed and open. Because when we let the body relax, when we let the body open, we're in a place of receiving. So we want to welcome in and receive in everything that's positive. We want to give ourselves some love. Give ourselves some compassion. Give ourselves some healing. Give ourselves a healthy body, a healthy mind. Anything that maybe comes to mind that wasn't just already said, think of that, invite that in whatever it is of a positive nature. So when the body is ready to receive, it will take in what it needs. So this is the time to allow yourself to receive all that you need. Without moving, just notice your body as it continues to rest. And very slowly begin to move your fingers, your toes, your wrists, and ankles. Taking a nice deep breath in, stretch your arms over your head, reaching as far back as you can. Exhaling out any sighs, sounds, or moans and then gently hugging your knees, drawing them into your chest, taking you gentle rocks, moving from side to side. Find your way all the way over to the right side of your mat, and let your head rest gently on your inner right arm, letting the left hand come in front of your chest onto the floor. Stay a few moments in the fetal position. Be with your stillness. 
be with your peace. Keeping your eyes closed, press gently into your left hand and guide yourself into a seated position as you sit at the top of your mat. Ground through your sit bones. Let your spine be long. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra into the center of your heart and just let your thumbs press into your chest so that you can feel your heart beating. Connect to that movement of your heart. And we're going to close with one ohm. Take a nice deep breath in. Slowly and gently lower your chin to your chest as you bow to that light and love that shines within you. Know that that light and love shines brightly within each and every one of us. Namaste. Thank you very much, everyone. Hope to see you Wednesday, and we'll also have class on Saturday, too. I'll see you soon. Have a good night.